Okay, so we're here at uh, Ilan with uh, Melania and you have a quite special ski in your hand. What, what kind of ski are you holding? I'm holding my hand uh, Ibex Tactics. That's uh, first fully function functional folding ski on the market. The basics, how does this innovation work? Well, it's pretty simple. I will first open it in the back. So we have uh, a locking mechani mechanism for safety. This is the back. Then in the front, and as soon as it's opened on both sides, I can spin it around. Now it's out. I'll just place it in the in the safe mode for hiking. It's in the middle, and I can fold the ski. And when you go start skiing again, what do you do then? Well, it goes vice versa. So you simply unfold. Make sure that it's open on this end so that it can go in the in the position. Turns around, clips in. I have to lock it in the in the front and in the back, and the ski is ready. And you showed uh, last year in Ispo, you showed a prototype, but uh, this ski actually is uh, ready to use. Correct. Uh, the one we showed yesterday, uh, last year was a prototype. It was skiable 100%, uh, but this one is uh, its even better. Uh, now it's running at uh, zero production level. We have supplied uh, two military forces around the globe already. And uh, what is even better, comparing to last year, uh, this one is significantly lighter. So it's, the actual feeling is a regular touring ski. Well, the other one had still the aluminum plate, this one has a carbon plate now, um, and it was pretty heavy. Oh, okay. And I, I heard that uh, some militaries have uh, ordered some skis. Is that correct or is that just a rumor? No, that's definitely correct. Uh, the whole project was uh, developed with Slovene military. Um, it was uh, in tight relationship. Uh, so not only from the end user, a regular consumer view, we were testing with the most demanding uh, consumer there is. Uh, so supplying for the military, it, uh, everything has to work perfectly, no failure possible, and uh, this is what tactics uh, achieved. And it's, it's not the only the Slovenian army, I heard it was uh, the Americans as well? or And the interest at the moment is global. It goes from east to west, um, basically all over the world. And I heard you were on the Fox News channel. Were, were you the one uh, presenting the skis or was it someone else? Uh, on the Fox News channel, they presented themselves, uh, but um, the colleague from R&D, Vinko Augustin, he was uh, one of the, the most passionate people uh, about the tactics. He's been driving the innovation on this uh, product for last eight years. Um, so he was, uh, he's been deeply involved in the interviews as well. And, and what, what kind of binding is it on uh, these skis? Because uh, they, they come with the binding, right? Correct. Um, the plate is made in the way that it's pre-drilled for a pr uh, binding. Elan is cooperating with the G3, so we're using the ION 12. You can get it in, in both versions, so either the retail, the regular, without uh, a lot of adjustment, and the demo version, which you can adjust even more for different uh, sole lengths on the boots. And a foldable ski. What? Why do you need a foldable ski? Good question. Um, it's a limitless adventure. With uh, this ski, climbing becomes a lot easier. Imagine climbing with um, 1 meter 70 under your back, it's, uh, it's safer. Also for the descent, sometimes where there is no snow at the peak, uh, also for the descent, uh, that's a lot easier. It's the first ski that's certified to uh, do the parachuting with, uh, as well as jumping out of the helicopter, just because it's, uh, it falls under 1 meter, so it's um, easier. And maybe you can, uh, do you know if you can take the, the skis as hand luggage uh, on the aircraft? Have you <laughs> looked into that? 
Uh, not the hand luggage, so not to, it's still one meter long, uh, but definitely the duffer bag, you can uh, check it in. We also developed the bag for, for the ski, so you can simply pack it in uh, together with your boots, helmet, ski, for, uh, ski clothing and uh, check it in. No extra fee for the airline. And the carbon usually means that the skis uh, are a bit uh, more expensive. What, what will this package cost uh, with the skis and binding? Uh, 1500 euros it's at the moment the target and uh, it's not about the carbon uh, before even with the aluminum plate uh, the price was even higher since the aluminum had to be milled out uh, specifically for piece by piece with the carbon uh, this is the completely new technology it's plastic carbon it's injected so plastic together with the carbon and then another piece on top of it plus with the IBEX tactics, we're integrating carbon rods in the construction for better rebound, stability, compromising the light wood um, effect and achieving really good performance also for the downhill for the onslope. And what does this, this cut, uh, doesn't it, uh, doesn't it uh, uh, mess with the flex of the ski? Not, um, uh, luckily not. Um, it's not a simply a cut. So we didn't take the, the regular ski in the line and cut it in half. It's the assembly part that's done differently. So the, the whole mechanism, it's already integrated during the assembly of the ski. And as a second point, the plate, it's really loading the weight, the pressure from the middle forward. So the ski, this, this particular part that flexes, it's not so affected as it would be on the ski without the plate. And, and underneath, is there some connection when it's in a ski mode? How does it look then? Well, so there is a hinge that you can also see on the ski. Yeah. It's um, completely grindable also on the machine tuning, no problem. And during skiing, you don't feel it. But this hinge enables us to, to keep the connection secure, tight, that it wouldn't like pull apart or, or even break the worst case scenario. Very interesting technology. Do you think that uh, we will see this on, uh, on more types of ski or do you think it will be just on, the, uh, on this particular Torian ski? That's a question back to you. What do you think? Would you like to see it elsewhere? I guess the market has to say what it's if they want to buy it, so <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe, if it works. I mean, we definitely see an interest from a regular consumer, from people that live in the city. Uh, they appreciate the value that they can pack it in the car, in the trunk of the car. And uh, being in the office, sometimes it's a sunny day, you like to escape out earlier and the gear is with you. And what you pointed out with the, with the carry-on, I mean, not the carry-on in particular, but just checking in the baggage, regular way without extra fees. It's just opening the freedom um, and it's a bit li limitless comparing to the traditional skis. So there is definitely a big potential for uh, folding technology. Will you have uh, foldable uh, poles to this ski or some telescope or have you anything there? We have telescopic poles that uh, fold just to the same length and uh, they're packable together. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.